Well, what's up, everyone? So here we go. The surface area and volume test review for my pre AP kids. Um, I took the same exact question from your test, and I uh, changed the numbers. Yes, you have to write down everything. Write down the picture, numbers, everything. The first 14 questions are surface area. The last 15 are volume. All right. So it's 28 questions on your test. 28 questions here. All right. Let's go over this. So this is a cone. A cone surface area is pi r l plus pi r squared. Pi is pi because we leave pi by uh, by itself. You don't touch the pi symbol. R is the radius. Right here we have the diameter. So I'm going to take that half of that. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 6 is my R. So it's pi times my radius, which is 6 times my L. Remember that L is slant height, which is this one right here. This is my L. Remember the one that goes this way? That's my H, or whatever. This one's my L. So 11.4 plus pi, and then the radius is 6 squared. So multiply 6 times 11.4. That gives you 68.4 with the pi symbol. Just bring it down. Plus 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. So this is 36. Bring down the pi symbol. And then you can add those two numbers together, and you're going to end up getting 104 point four pi. And that's how the answer is gonna look like on your test. Number two is another cone, so the same exact formula. Pi R L plus pi R squared. This is the diameter. I want half of that. So half of ten is five, so five is my radius. This is my L, that is my slant height. Pi is pi, the radius is 5, times L, which is 10.6, plus the pi symbol, and then the radius was 5 squared. Multiply 5 times 10.6, and it gives you 53.5. Bring down the pi symbol, so it's pi plus 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. You bring down the pi symbol, and then you add 53 plus 25, and it gives you 78 pi. Number three. <clears throat> A cube, they're all seven. So how do you find the uh, surface area? pH plus 2b. This is my base. So the P is the perimeter of the base. So this is 7, that's 7, that's 7, and this is 7 right there. So then it's 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, or 7 times 4, whatever, and it gives you 28. H is the height. How tall is this box? It is 7. So H is 7. And then the B, the area of the base. Again, I saw some kids getting this wrong, so I'm going to go over it. The B, the, the base, the area of the base means only the, the base, only the bottom part. It is a square. How do you find the area of a square? It is length times width for a square. So 7 times 7, which is 49. Plug all those numbers in here. The perimeter is 28 times the height, which is 7, plus 2 times the area of the base, which is 49. You put all that in the calculator, and you're going to get 294. Of course, uh, unit squared, because surface area is squared. Four. Another box. This is the base. This little square right here. Alright, these are the bases. 
so the box needs to be stood up. So pH plus 2b, this is the height because the box needs to be stood up. <coughs> All right. The perimeter of the base, it's 3, that's 3, this is 3, and that's 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus another 3, or 3 times 4, you get 12. The H was 7. And the area of the base. The base is a square. How do you find the area of a square? Length times width, and length times width means 3 times 3, which is 9. Plug in all those numbers to the formula. You're going to get 12 times the height, which is 7, plus 2 times the area of the base, which is 9. You put all that in the calculator, and you should get 102 uh, <coughs> meter squared, whatever. And 5. 5 is a pyramid. It is a square pyramid. This is the base. That is the base. All right. So for a pyramid, it is one half PL plus B. <laughs> P is the perimeter, the perimeter of the base. That's eight. That's eight, which means that the back is eight, and that's eight there. So eight times four, or eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Either way, it's thirty-two. L is the slant height which is right here. This is the slant height. This number here, that is my slant height. That is 4.2. And then B. B means the area of the base. Our base here is a square. That's length times width, 8 times 8, which is 64. Plug all that into the formula. 1 half times the P for perimeter, which is 32. Multiply that by 4.2. Add that to 64, and you should get 131.2. Over 6. There's another pyramid, which is 1 half, capital P, little l, plus capital B. Again, this is my base. That is a square, all right? So the perimeter of a square, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. They're all 3. 4, 3 times 4 is going to give you 12. The slant height is right here. That is my slant height. Was 4.3. And then the B. The area of the base. My base is a square. The area of a square is length times width. So 3 times 3, which is 9. Plug it into the formula. 1 half times the perimeter, which is 12, times the L, which is 4.3, times, oh no, I'm sorry, plus big B, which is 9. And that should give you 34.8. Number seven. Now we're going to get to the good questions. All those have been pop-ups. Now we get to the good questions that, you know, distinguish you between your A, your Bs, and your C grades. All right. This is a prism. pH plus 2B. This is your base. It is a trapezoid. All right, that is a trapezoid. This is three right here. This top one is the same as this top one. That's four. That means this is four. All right. So that's 4. 
this is 2, it has a little line here which means that this is 2, this has a little line which means that this is 2. So this is 2, this is 2. This number right here, that is the height of the base. <laughs> and then 5, since this box is not standing up, when you stand this box up, 5 is going to end up being your H. This is the H that goes right here. That is 5. All right, so now let's find the perimeter. So the perimeter of the base, the base is just the trapezoid. Just this shape here. This is 4. This is uh, 2. This is 2, and this is 3. The perimeter is 4 plus 2 plus the other 2 plus 3, which gives us 11. The height here, which said is 5, and now we need the capital B. The base, the area of the base, our base is a trapezoid. When you have a trapezoid, it is B1 plus B2, all that times the height, divide that by 2. B1 is the top number, that's B1 right there. This is B1, hello. So that's 4, plus my B2 is the bottom, that's 3, times my height. How tall is this? It's right here, 1.9. That is the height of the base, divided by 2. I see a lot of you putting, instead of 1.9 right here, you put 5. And that's wrong, and give you the wrong answer, right? You plug this into the calculator, and I'll give you 6.65. So this goes here, 6.65. Then we can plug it all into the formula. So P is 11 times the H is 5 plus 2 times the area of the base which is 6.65. Put that in the calculator and you should get 68.3. Great. Another trapezoid prism. Yes, there are two of them. Alright, so first let's see. If this is 4 then this is 4. If this is 2, has a little line, then this is 2, and so is this one. So this is 2, and that's 2. So pH plus 2B. That's just an ugly shape. Alright. The top number is 4. The bottom number is 3. This side number is 2. This side number is 2. And then the height right here is uh, 1.9. So, to find the perimeter, you add all the outside numbers, which is 4 plus 2 plus another 2 plus 3 which gives us 11, which is like the previous question, but they're different, all right? That's 11. The height, what is the height of this box when you stand it up? The height is going to be 3. This is your height. And then the B, the area of the base for a trapezoid B1 plus B2 times your height divided by 2. Base 1, that number there, which is 4, plus the bottom number base 2, which is 3, times your height, the height, not the height of the box, just the height of the base. That's why I redrew it, 1.9, divide that by 2. It gives you 6.65, just like before, but again, they're different questions. 6.65. Put it in the formula. Perimeter is 11 times my height, which is 3, plus 2 times capital B, 6.65. And that should give you 46.3.
a sphere. A sphere are easy to do. It is four. That's not just four. Four pi r squared. That is the diameter. I don't want this. Half of 18 is 9. So 9 is my r. So it's simply 4 times pi times 9 squared. 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. So you have 4 times pi times 81. You multiply the 4 and the 81, and it gives you 324. And then you bring down the pi symbol. Number 10, same exact thing. I don't want the whole thing, I want half. 3 is my radius. That is r, that would be 3. 4 pi r, second power. 4 is 4, pi is pi, the r here is 3 squared. 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. If you have 4 times pi times 9, multiply the 4 and the 9, 36, bring down the pi symbol. And another one, because these are so easy to do, I figure I'd help you grade out a little bit. This one is already r, so r is 7, 4 pi r to the second power. 4 is 4. Pi is pi, and then the radius here is 7 squared. 7 times 7, which is 49. 4 times pi times 49. 4 times 49 is 196. Bring down the pi symbol. 196 pi. Number 12, a cylinder. A cylinder is surface area formula. 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Again, this is the whole thing. I only want half. That will give us half. That's 8. That is the r. All right. I only want from here, not the whole thing, 16, just half. So it's 2 times pi times my radius, which is 8 times my height. How tall is this box? I mean this can cylinder? 4 plus 2 times pi times the radius which is 8 and then squared. Just do it in your head or do a calculator. It's faster. 2 times 8 is 16 and then 16 times 4 is going to give you 64. Bring down the pi symbol. Bring down the plus sign. 8 squared means 8 times 8, which is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. Bring down the pi symbol. 64 plus 128 is 192 pi. Oh, the good ones, the triangle. This is my base. All right, that is my base. Anyway, you get the point. That triangle is my base, right? Is it sitting down on top of the triangle already? Yes. It's already sitting down on top of the triangle. It's, it's right there, ready to go. Which means that this 5 is the height of the box. That's H already. Right? So this is a prism. So pH plus 2B. Here is my triangle. If this is 8, then this is 8. 
So if I draw my triangle over here, this is eight, this is eight. They don't tell us this number here, but I don't need it. And I have this. Uh, which is 4.9 and yeah I do need the number if this is 5 and this is 5 then that means they're all 5 it's a square that's 5 and this is 5 so that's square there so this is 5 right here so to find the perimeter of this triangle 8 plus 8 plus 5 which is 21 the height we figured out as soon as we started is right here. That's the height of the box. That's 5. Then B. This is a triangle. How do you figure out the area of a triangle? It is the base times the height divided by 2. Base. This is my base. Which is 8 times my height. My height is this number right here. That's the height of my triangle, not the height of the box, I don't care about the box, but it's the height of my triangle, my base, 4.9. So 8 times 4.9, divide that by 2, it's going to give you 19.6. Then we plug in the numbers into the formula. So the perimeter is 21 times my height, which is 5, plus 2 times the B, which is 19.6. Put that in the calculator. 144.2. Another one. Yes, another triangular prism. <clears throat> this triangle right here, that is my base. Is it on the base right now? No, it's kind of floating in air. So we're going to have to adjust it. All right. So let's get them some things taken care of. If this is 6, then this is 6. Hit me here. If this is 4, then this is 4. If this is 5, then this is 5. So that's 5, and this is 4 over there, right? So, pH plus 2B. First, let me draw this triangle here. It's kind of all weird looking. But if you notice, it's a right triangle, has a little box. Which means that this triangle stood up, should look up like this. This slant is 8. The bottom number here is right here. This is 5. And this number here is the blue, which is 6. So to find the perimeter of that box, I mean of the triangle, sorry, this is the perimeter of the base. 6 plus 5 plus 8. Which is 19. The height of the box. Hmm. When this box is sitting down correctly and is laying down on top of the triangles, 4 is the height. So H is 4. And then the B, the area of the base, is a triangle. That is base times the height divided by 2. This is the base of the triangle. That's 5. The height of the triangle is 6. So then 5 times 6 divided that by 2. That's 30 over 2, which is 15. So that's 15. Put in the formula. P is 19 times the height plus... 2 times area of the base, which is 15. All that should give you 106. 
15 all the way to 28. Now we're doing volume, different formulas. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so the volume of a sphere is 4 pi r to the third power, all that divided by 3. All right, this is already half the circle here, so it's already r is ready to go. So it's 4 times pi times r, which is 6.2 to the third power, all that divided by 3. This means 6.2 times another 6.2 times another 6.2. Or just put it in the calculator. You know, that 6.2, the little up symbol, carrot 3. Yeah, whatever. And you're going to get 4 pi and 6.2 to the third power is 238.2. Two to eight, all that divide by three. You multiply these two numbers, and it gives you nine hundred and fifty-three point three one two pi. Divide these numbers by three, and you're going to end up with three hundred and seventeen point seven seven one pi. Usually, we don't have so many decimals when we do pi, but in this question, it does. So I'm assuming one of your test questions does too. 16, same thing, same formula, 4 pi r to the third power divided by 3. This is already half the circle, so it's already r. So it's 4 times pi times the raised 14 to the third power over 3. 14 to the third power means 14 times 14 times 14 or 14 third power, whatever. So it gives us 4 times pi times uh, 14 to the third power is, I think, uh, 2744 over 3. Now you multiply these two numbers, 2744 times 4, and gives you 10976 pi. Then you divide those numbers by 3, 3658 .6. 7 pi. Number 17. Good old friend trapezoids. Here's my trapezoid here in the front again, alright? Here it is in the front. Just like before. Remember that this is 6, then this is 6. If this is 4, that's 4, and this is 4. So if I draw my trapezoid just here, the height here is 2.7. This is 6, this is 4, this is 4, and this is 4. Alright, so this is a prism, so the volume of, of, of a prism is BH. Capital B is the area of the base. So the area, remember, is B1 plus B2 times my height divided by 2. B1 is that number. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it's 6. You all get it there. That's 6. Plus B2 is the bottom number, which is 4. Times my height. My height is right here, 2.7. Divide that by 2. I remember that this 2.7 is only the height of the base. It is not the height of the, the prism. Right? So this h is not the same as this h here. All right? You put that in the calculator and it's going to give you 13.5. So this is 13.5. Now we need the h. How tall is this box when you lay it down? 4. That is h. So then we multiply b times h, which is 13.5 times 4, and it gives us 54. Of course, this would be mi to the third power, because the volume is always to the third power. Number 18, another trapezoid. This is 5, this is 5. This is 3, this is 3, and that's 3. That's 5, that's 3, that's 3. That's 
that's five, that's four, that's three, and that's three. And then the height is 1.9. Volume is capital B little h. To get the capital B, it's B1 plus B2 times my height. All that divided by 2. Base 1 is the top number, which is 5, plus the bottom number, which is 4, times my height, which is 1.9. That divided by 2. Put in the calculator to give you 8.55. Five, five. So that is your capital B. The height. How tall is this? When you stand it up correctly, it's 4. H. So you multiply these two numbers, 8.55 times 4, and it's going to give you 34.2. Number 19. Yes, it is uh, capital B little h, but just so you know, to find the volume of all cylinders, just use this formula. Pi r squared h. It makes life easy. All right? So that's how you find the volume of a cylinder. Why didn't I give you that formula, formula earlier in your notes? Because I need you to work it out by hand the long way first. Here you go. Here's your shortcut. All right? So it's pi. My radius is only half right here this is r that's r good to go seven squared times my height here's my height times seven seven squared is 49 times seven times five remember that seven squared means seven times seven so we just multiply 49 times seven 343 bring down the pi symbol and you're done Another cylinder. Remember, it is just going to be pi r squared h. For volume, for volume there are shortcuts. I'm going to show you another one in a little bit. So pi r squared h. Pi is pi. R is half the circle, which is already giving us r. That is 11 squared times the height, which is right here. This is our h. 11 squared means 11 times 11, which is 121, times 11 more, and bring down the pi. Multiply these two numbers and you're going to get 1331, and bring down the pi symbol. Alright, so here we go. The triangle is my base. Right, that is my base. It is already on the base. Alright, it's already sitting down on the base. So this is going to be my height. That's my height. So, capital B, little h. Capital B. If this triangle, how do you find the area of a triangle? It means base times height divided by 2. This is the base. This here is the height. Alright, 3.5. That is the height. So it's 7 times 3.5 divided by 2. And that gives you 12.25. That is my capital B. My height. How tall is the box? It is 8. So you multiply those two numbers. 12.25 times 8. And it's going to give you 98. Again, don't get confused between the height of the box and the height of the base. All right? They're different. All right. So this is a box. All right? It's a regular box. It's a prism. But it's a square box or it's a rectangular box. 
the shortcut for this is just to do length times width times height. And the cool thing is in volume only, it doesn't matter whether you're standing up on a correct uh, base or not. All right? It doesn't matter. Here is my length. Here is my width. Here is my height. And that's it. 4 times 4 times 5. And these are the, the width. That's the length again, so it doesn't matter. So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. And you're done. If you don't want to do it that way, I would. You're done. It's B times H. The base is the bottom. How do you find the area of the base? So the square is 4 times 4. And then times the height is 5. It's the same formula, right? It's just easier just to do length times width times height. But it only works with regular boxes. This is a rectangular box. So you can do it again. And like I said, I don't know which way to start. It's pretty easy. Anywhere you want. I mean, it's up to you. I just like starting here at the bottom. Here is the length. Here is my width. Here is my height. Length times width times height. 4 times 4 times 2. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Again, it only works for volume of rectangular or square boxes. All right? Nowhere else. You can't go to a trapezoid prism and be all right. Length times width times height. No. It only works with boxes that have squares and rectangles. That's it. All right? If you don't like it, use the other formula. B times H. The same thing. Here's another one. Is this a prism that only has squares and rectangles? Yes. So here is my... We want to get technical. Here is the length. Here is the width. Here is the height. Length times width times height. 5 times 7 times 5. That is 175. And you're done. Alright? A pyramid. Pyramids are capital B little h divided by 3. Here is my base. The base is a triangle. If you stand up this triangle, it should look like this. For this is the bottom. This is the bottom. Right there. So this is 6. Here is the height right here so this is 8 and then this other one would be 10 but we don't need it we're not looking for the perimeter we don't worry about it all right so how do you find b capital b is the area of the base the base is a triangle how do you find the area of a triangle base times height over 2 my base is the green one My height is the pink one, purple one, whatever. So it's 6 times 8 divided by 2. 6 times 8 is 40, 48. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. So that is your capital B. Height. How tall is this entire um, pyramid from right here all the way to the bottom? How tall is it? Right there. Telling you eight. Eight. So you do twenty-four times eight, and don't forget to divide by three because it is a um, pyramid. Put that in the calculator, you're gonna get sixty-four. Another pyramid. Base times height. Sorry, area of the base times the height over three. Here is my base. If we draw it, this is the bottom. This is the bottom. Here's the height. Here's the height. 
<clears throat> and then this is the other number, but we don't need it because we're not looking for perimeter. So this is 3. This is 4. V means area of the base. Find the area of this shape. Base times height over 2. That is this one. The base is the pink one, purple one, whatever. <clears throat> so 3 times 4 divided by 2. 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So that's 6. The height. How tall is this pyramid from right here all the way down? How tall is it? It's telling you it's 8. So you do 6 times 8 divided by 3. 6 times 8 is 48. 48 divided by 3 is 16. Hello. 27. Another pyramid. Maybe this test is easier than I thought. I don't know. We'll see. Base times area of the base times the height over 3. Here is my base. This base is a square. Awesome. How do you find the area of a square? Square that's 6 and that's 6. To find the area, you just do length times the width, which is 6 times 6, which is 36. So 36 is the area of the base. The height. How tall is this pyramid? From here all the way down there. 7. So 36 times 7. Divide that by 3. And 36 times 7 is 253. Divided by 3, 84. And then the last one. There's a cone. A cone is pi r squared h divided by 3. Right, again, this is the, the shortcut formula. It's easy to use. Just use it for a cone for a volume. Pi is the pi symbol. The radius is only half, which they already gave us, which is 6. So this is the r squared times the height. How tall is this? cones right here, that is the height, so it's 10, divided by 3. I'm going to leave pi alone, because we have to leave it alone. 6 squared means 6 times 6, which is 36, times 10, and then divided by 3. 36 times 10 is 360, bring the pi symbol, divide that by 3, and then divide 360 and 3, and it's 100. And 20, you bring the pi symbol. Either I went too fast or this was too easy. Or I don't know. I thought it was going to be a longer video. Good for you, it's not. So you don't have to watch an hour long video. If you've copied every single question and you drew the pictures, all you have to do on your test is match the picture to the one that looks like on your test. And it's not too difficult. I mean, look, this cone has I n for inches, I n for inches, and I, it looks like this, all right? Find it on the test under volume, and then this is the work you're going to do, all right? Instead of there being a 6, there will be a different number here, but it's the same work. I pretty much worked out your whole test, step by step, I just changed the numbers. And all you have to do is follow my steps, change the numbers that are on the test, put in the calculator correctly, and you're done. Just remember, the calculator is only as smart as the person using it. And you cannot use your phone calculator on the test. You cannot use my iPad calculator on the test. You have to use the Inspire. And I will see if we have enough for everybody. All right, guys. Later.